Hello guys, this is GeeseQuest16. Welcome back to Let's Replay Banjo Tooie. Um, we're gonna probably we're gonna start getting some more jiggies in the video. Only got one in the last video. Uh, next, I'm actually gonna get Mumbo. Up next, I'm gonna get Mumbo. Do his thing after fighting his uh his uh ter ter Terminator reject. Okay. I'm gonna get some more health. Oh wait, I'm gonna get more health. Okay, I guess that's just a one-time thing. Okay, so now let's actually go to the real Mumbo and get his uh thing done. Well, for the final time. Okay, in here. That's the Minjo. Some of you may think if you're in Minji Jongo's area, you may think that's the uh, real may think that's the Minjo, and the real Mumbo has the Jinjo. Well, wrong. That's a little reverse psychology, right? Well, I don't want to say reverse psychology, but the fake Mumbo skull, Minji Jongo's, has the uh, real Jinjo, and the real Mumbo has the, has the Minjo. So, okay, Mumbo, uh, are you going to turn into a poster again? Oh, this is the real deal. So, so for the final time, we have Mumbo, the real one. Mumbo, the real one. Okay, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna do much in this world here. So, and you go freaking die, Minjo. Don't die. <laughs> Evil flower. Okay, so let me ask him what yourself when the mumble pad is. Well, it's uh, just a little ways. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it's over this way. Ah. And there's a little fun fact out there, that green uh, paper dude, um, you may notice he's on the flower, that, you may notice that, I believe, is the flower that you see in the, uh, the game, in the game over sequence in Banjo-Kazooie when, uh, Grunty and, uh, Tootie switch bodies. Well, Grunty is this hot chick, you know, she's green, and then Tootie becomes ugly. Yeah, that scene where Mumbo comes in, he he has a flower. I believe that's the flower that that green flat paper dude has, I believe. Okay, so this is where we need to be. Yeah, there's this. Let's see. Let me get rid of this B here. He's gonna be a nuisance. <laughs> okay, made it. Okay, so Mumbo's final spell of Banjo Tooie is the Rain Dance. So, if you haven't guessed it, Mumbo's gonna make it rain. So, first up, he's gonna make a rainbow form, stretching over to the pot of gold. So, Banjo Kazooie can actually get over to the pot of gold. And he'll actually make uh, the beans grow into a beanstalk. This one going to the cheese wedge, and the other one going up to the uh, sack race. So now we can actually do the sack race. And that's it for Mumbo, folks. Let's see here. Where are you at? Okay, yeah, he's far away. I'm talking about that uh, little. I think that's a wasp, actually, instead of a bee. And with that, we are done with Mumbo for the game, folks. So say goodbye to Mumbo. Okay, I'm going to do some fighting against these little paper dudes. And I did not mean to do that. Nah, it actually made things a little bit quicker, I guess. Ah, sausage dude. Oh, we got another one. 
I guess the goal if you're trying to beat these with Mumbos is you gotta get them early because if you get them too late they can, they can actually get some attacks in. Okay. Okay, so I need to... Okay, okay, I believe it's... Okay. Ah, he got out of the way. There we go, we got him. Okay, now I just gotta find... Okay. okay, what is it? I'm lost here. Okay, that's not it. I think that leads... Okay, over here! Okay, so here we go. We made it back. And now... We can actually start getting some of the jiggies now. Now, but yeah. Ah, I was trying to get rid of that ninja. I didn't see where he was, so. Okay. Well, I about fell off out there, actually. Okay, I did that just to get some more health. Um, next, I'm actually going to go to the pot of gold and tackle that area. Just right over here. Oh, come on! Cheap shot! I call it cheap shot on that. And we got three more notes we have to still get. Um, I believe I know where they are. Okay, so stand on this switch right here and the top of the pot of gold will open. There's a catch. It's time, so we got 20 seconds to get there before it closes. And uh, this is why the rainbow is there, so Banjo Kazooie can actually get from that one area from the central cavern to the pot of gold over here. And we made it, actually. And that is a Minjo, definitely, because we already got the white Jinjo. Okay, so um, there's these little eggs here, so let's uh, actually fire them in the slot right over here. Okay, do the same thing for fire. Okay, here's a grenade. Be very careful. And finally, ice. And we will activate the pot of gold game. Grunty! Welcome! You're in my Fable Pot of Gold Shooting Challenge. To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 jiggies in 45 seconds. If you manage to beat 90, I will give you an extra prize. I reckon you won't even hit 20. Fancy a go? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here we go for the Shooting Challenge, the Pot of Gold Shooting Challenge. You just go around uh, shooting these jiggies. I recommend doing one row at a time. Now you gotta be kind of quick though, because you only got 45 seconds. And you can't go too fast though, because um, you'll miss a row of jiggies. Like that right there. I recommend going and getting the rows, and then coming back and getting the jiggies that you missed here, so. That's my strategy. Okay, we need at least 75. And we need 90 to get the first prize. Got it! Did you cheat? Yes, you must have. You somehow hit 90 jiggies and win first and second prizes at once. Okay, so that's the second prize, the Cheeto page, and you hit the 90, you get the jiggy. 
You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100. Give it a try. You get no reward from it, but just some extra dialogue, so no. Get lost, then. This game's too good for you, anyway. Yeah, Grunty. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, there we go. That will do it for the pot of gold. See, don't need me. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, before we leave, we want to go behind the pot of gold right over here. And I'll get hit by that big wasp. So right here is the uh, empty extra honeycomb. Ha! <laughs> he just stayed there for his execution. Stupid wasp, that's what you get for hanging along there so long. Yeah, he was asking for it, pretty much. Okay, next, um, I'm actually going to split up and do Kazooie's thing, because he, because she does have uh, some stuff to do. Namely, you may notice there's some of these eggs here. You may notice there's these eggs right over. Eggs. Let me notice around the, uh, around the area. So, we're going to split up. Uh, there's a ginger on here. I'll get that real quick before... I do that. And over here, here's one of the eggs, so of course we're gonna hatch it. And, ooh, what's this? Wow, that's a rare Flotus Frodium creature, if I'm not mistaken. Let's so, say, yeah, we have Flotus Frodium creature, and you'll see what that does later. But in the meantime, I'm actually gonna go over here. So I can get this uh, black Jinjo. Okay, I want to see what's out through here. Um. Okay, yeah, that just takes that yeah, just takes us back out to the uh, that one area. Okay, so now we're actually gonna have some more Lotus Rhodium creatures. Okay, I need to find a pair of clock member boots, actually. Let's see here. There's some springy step shoes. That's probably what I need to get up. Oh! Screw you! Okay. Before I was really interrupted by that dude. Yeah, by that dude. I don't know what they're called. Okay, that's where I was wanting to go. Okay, so I need a pair of springy step shoes to get up there. Okay, we have to be very careful. We don't want to get hit by those guys. And there we go. Okay, there's no notes up here. This should take us up to that top area that's above the uh, blue mumbo skull. Yep. This is what I came up here for as I dropped something here. Okay, so this is the other egg. Come on, get up there. There we go. Finally. And there we go. Another Flotus Rhodium creature. Okay, so, and finally, we're actually going to go over here. There's a pair of kazoo footprints up the wall, so. Claw Clamber Boot Time. Claw Clamber Boot Tame! Where's those two things go freaking die? Made it! Barely. And up here is the other Flotus Frodium creature. And you see what these do later, but for right now. Okay, um, where's the, okay, there's the trash can over there, so I'm actually just going to glide over to it. And this is, uh, for Kazooie only, so. Now, I'm going to fly on top of here, because up here is the final empty honeycomb of the game. 
Right up here. Hey! Get back here, you! Get back here! There we go, got him. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to be very careful here. Now to just simply glide on down. Okay, so um, up here is a uh, Kazooie switch. And that will open up the trash can. So this game is for Kazooie only. Well, if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in the trash can, and yeah, I got a lot of stinky stuff in here. A visitor! Golfo doesn't get many visitors in his trash can. I'm not surprised, it stinks. I prefer to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm, face I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department, unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? Yeah, you don't want to, but oh well. It's these filthy germs that live in here. And I've been told to get rid of 50 points worth. Okay, so basically we got these germs here. And um, unless we get rid of 50 points worth, uh, GoFo's going to lose his trash can. So yeah, we got the uh, normal point values, blue 3, green 2, and red 1. Okay, and we got 60 seconds to kill 50 points. Alright, so here we go. If you focus mainly, this is, again, focus mainly on the green and blues if you can. And if you get a lot of them, you should be fine. Okay. You gotta be quick about it because they can disappear. There we go, got that one. Got that one somehow. I think it disappeared on the last second. Well, I tried to, and I got it on the last second. Get it, there we go. Okay, I beat it. Okay, I'm just going to see how much I can get. Maybe I can get 64 right over here. Ah, dang it. Okay, 68. Great, you killed 68 points worth. I get to keep my lovely trash can, and you get to keep this. A very stinky, uh, jiggy. I uh, know one of those we don't want, but we have to. Uh, no, I think we've done enough in here. See you later. Tell all your friends they're welcome to visit. Uh, okay. Okay, so in here we gotta... We're not gonna leave it just yet because we got a... Jinjo. Okay, um... I think the Jinjo's on the... Okay, no, he's on the sa sa Snacky Fatty Chocos. With extra f fatty goodness. And here we got Jolly's Juice, we got Milky Milky Sour Milk, and we got Spew Cane Carrots. Yeah. What do these people in the Banjo Gazoo world eat and drink? Okay. Gonna have to get a good run. Go across the milk over to the uh, Life Black Jinjo. Yep. And, and go over and what's this? Missing Tootie. Last seen in Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, what the hell did happen to Tootie? I've been wondering. I don't know what happened because the last time we saw her, she uh, told uh, Banjo Kazooie to go up there and finish the job in the last game. And then she. That's the last we've heard of her. So that, that was weird. We don't know the whereabouts of Tootie. Kind of a shame, though. I mean, we did save her, but... Oh, no. It's almost like Banjo... I mean, we, that was the main folk plot of Banjo-Kazooie, to save uh, Tootie. But now we don't know where she is, so... I guess she's out having her, living her own life. I, well, was, but anyways, that was the last uh, combination.
Oh yeah, 1984. I should have remembered that. It's a real rare date. Okay, so yeah, the Super Stash Deluxe found its final combination and it will open up a Jiggy. Okay, so um, you may notice he said 1984 is a real rare date. Well, um, you haven't figured that out. That is the year Rare Rare got its start. 30 years ago, actually, because this is uh, 2014 when I'm doing this replay. And they opened and they first got started in 1984, so that was 30 years ago. Cool. If they were to celebrate in 30 years, they should have a special game or something out coming out. So, but I haven't heard anything from Rare Rare ever since they got bought out by Microsoft. That's tragic, I know. But anyways, back to Tootie. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Tootie. No one knows. That's the only way you know about Tootie's whereabouts is that she's missing. And Banjo Kazooie didn't. I don't think Banjo Kazooie actually know about it. Okay, I'm um, real quickly here, um, let's see, where's the, uh, safe at? Okay, well, I'll come back get that later. Okay, I'm actually, this is what you need to do with the Flows Foam Creature. You get the Taxi Pack, and you can actually float for a short period of time to cross long gaps that you can do with Banjo only when he doesn't have Kazooie with him. Namely over here, because over here is the final Gem Jars move of the game. And here are the final two notes, guys. We have gotten all the notes in the game. So here is the final Jam Jar's move. The Sack Pack. So this this move, Banjo will actually jump in his backpack by holding in Z and then pressing the top C button. He can actually go across liquids, like on the surface, instead of underwater. It's almost like the Shack Pack, but the opposite. Banjo will hop in his uh, backpack here, and he can actually go across dangerous areas with it, like liquids that are on the surface and other things. And uh, we're going to do Banjo's thing next video, so I'm going to stop right here, folks. This is uh, Geese Cross 16. This has been Let's Replay Banjo Tui. I will see you guys next time when we uh, do Banjo's thing of Cloud Cuckoo Land. So this is Geese Cross 16 signing out. Later.